All right, folks, Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install Direwolf on a Raspberry Pi for uh, APRS Digipeter. So, as you can see here, we're logged into the Pi. We're going to do a sudo app update. And I'm running the uh, light version of the Raspberry Pi image. So, you can always run the uh, desktop version if you feel like, which I have in the past. So, that don't work out too bad. <clears throat> So, while that's doing that, we're also going to, uh, we'll reboot this after it's done updating, but we're also going to make sure Pulse Audio isn't installed, so we'll remove that once uh, the upgrade's done, but uh, I'll come back when this is done and... Uh, We'll uh, continue. All right, now we're back. I did the uh, disco upgrade and reboot. So now we're going to remove Pulse Audio if it's installed. All right, so obviously. It's not installed, but we'll run some commands here. So we just show you. Now we're going to install some dependencies. <clears throat> and uh, we'll let this uh, run. Then uh, I'll be back when it's done all right we're back now that that's done we need to uh, get dire wolf here so we're gonna download it <clears throat> Then we're going to uh, CD into this. And we need to do a make. I'll come back when this is done. All right, now that that's done, it shows you right there what to type in next. Then it shows you again what to type in. Then, if you would like, you can do a make install dash rpi which that will throw it on the desktop but like i said i'm running the uh light version so so right now i'm gonna have to turn my pi off and plug in my uh USB, I mean my uh, sound card, and the sound card that I'm using is a 
the Phi Pi Audio Z, and you can get it from the uh, FiPi.com website or uh, eBay, whatever one you prefer. And uh, it's a simple command to set this up and get it working. All we need to do is go into here. We can do this now. And we'll scroll down. And we can post. Paste this in. Now, if you want to disable the audio on the Raspberry Pi 3 or on your Pi, we can just turn that to off and we'll just save this. So let me uh, connect this and reboot it and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back now. So now we need to see if we can see the uh, card. So we can do an A play space dash L and as you can see it is not showing I think what we might have to do is turn the uh, turn this uh, audio back on just to be safe so I'll be right back all right I'm back I guess when I uh, added that line in here for the uh, audio board it didn't save it or something but it's in there now i restarted the rebooted the pi so we should be good to go now if we do this and as you can see it only lists this because we have the audio turned off that is built in on the pi so if we run these two commands as you can see our biggest thing is here we need to remember card zero and device zero so we just need to take just remember that and that so we uh, just need to remember that right there so <clears throat> now what we can do is we can do a nano there wolf config and then here's where you need to add your call sign uh, your uh, APRS number so what we need to do is come down here we need to remove that and like I said we need to change this to a zero to match our code then we can bypass that we can do one channel in here is where you'll put your call sign just like that whatever your call sign may be and if you're running like a dash one or a dash two, if not, you can just let it go. We'll let all this the way it is. We'll keep going down through here. And 
here we will remove this pound sign and over here you'll want to update your location in here update location then the gain of your radio your antenna the height the power and your latin long but in this format and once you uh, are done with that line just remember your location your latin long because you're going to need it one more time so we'll come on down here and under digi we'll remove that hash then here we got to remove that and if you're in the North America you'll use this in South America and so on so you may have to change that to your country here we need to remove that hash and update your call sign here with whatever it may be and if like I said before if you're doing a dash one or dash two or so on or not at all here's where you're going to need your APRS number um, I'll throw a link in the description for your passcode because that's what this will be is your passcode so we'll move on down we'll remove this hash because we want to transmit and like I said before update your location there and we need to remove this hash also on my setup I also removed this because I wasn't getting a whole lot of traffic or whatnot so and I changed this to up to 400 so I mean you know if you just want to do 150 you know so be it <clears throat> We'll let that go and everything down below here we don't need to worry about. So we can get out of that. So for now we can just save this. Then once you're done there with that. We can do a, uh, a pseudo, Oop. turn that off. And this will bring up the uh, audio card. And we'll do an F five to show all now if you're running a desktop version you might be able you'll be able to see this a little bit better but this is where you're going to have to play with the mic the capture and your levels and stuff but it's probably a good idea to turn off the uh um if I can think of it the audio gain with if you hit M you can turn you can mute these so then just hit exit when you're done then you'll want to do a uh, we want to store that so let me see here I can't think of the command
because sometimes you uh, will lose your settings if you don't save it. So we'll do the following command there, then that will save it. So uh, and after that, that's it. You should be up and running now. I ran this with a uh, a Bofeng HT using the BTEC uh, cable with a uh, three mil three point five mil millimeter uh, audio splitter. Uh, I'll throw all the links in the description. I got everything on Amazon, um, and it worked out. All right, I had the uh, HT hooked up to a uh, outdoor antenna, so and I was able to log in and on APRS's website and see what stations I was reaching and who was seeing me and all that. So uh, works out all right. But I'll post these commands in the description and the links and. Uh, If you got any problems, let me know and I'll try to help you the best I can. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and uh, we'll be back with more um, videos soon. So, thanks for watching.